I'm about 50 yards to the west of where I showed you one of L.P. Carter's old apple trees. And I stumbled across this Indian milling rock here where they would mill acorns. Some of these holes are fairly deep, so this was pretty well used rock. Some of the holes are really shallow. But it's just kind of here in this rock pile, and not a lot of flat rocks, so this was not a big site. It's probably just a single family site. Or there may be some off here to the side of me that I'm, I'm unaware of. But always interesting to run across these old milling rocks. Let you know that people were here before us enjoying this beautiful country. Here I am about 10 yards from that other rock. See through the crack over there with the sun shining on it. Right here I dug up and uncovered another milling rock. This is an old one. It's a fairly fresh hole there. It's a medium hole. But that hole there... I think that's grandma's hole. Probably three generations ground in this rock right here. So there was probably more than one family living here. Just one family wouldn't need this many milling holes. Might have been a clan, large family. Interesting. This one's about 15 yards from the last rock. And this one got started really young holes. Couple over here. That's the deepest one. That one just started. But it's a nice flat rock out here in this flat ground. Didn't get used much before they moved on. And here's yet another granny rock in the same vicinity as the last ones. And it's got two down here on this end. And Two up here on this end that are of any size. And they're in this big old rock pile here. So there may well be other ones in this area. I don't see any likely candidates. Except maybe that one right there under all that brush. This tree fell on and I'm not going to go in there and dig it up. I'll stick my head in there and give a peek. And if I see some indentations covered with oak leaves and moss, it's more likely there were some there. But they're all in the same little area right here within 15-20 uh, yards of each other. Right off of that little slough down there, which probably, probably had water in it. And then these springs over here that Carter used. There's three of them along the banks over there. I'll show you those here. So there's plenty of water here until there wasn't. And then that's probably why they moved on.